Welcome back to another video on the Aiden Chu Fitness Channel, if that's what it's still called. Today we're going to be a little vlog. Uh, I hate the word vlog, but that's the right word, video log. Today we're going to be talking about another gym-related gym related thing. Um, let, me, let me just hold the phone. Uh, so, some context. Back in Hong Kong, I wasn't doing much shoulder pressing, right? Shoulder pressing is like when you press, when you sit back on the chair and then you press. For those of you that don't know, and basically I haven't really been doing that much. Like I would just do some machine presses because um, it's, it's quote unquote comfy. But you know, this is where everyone's body is different. Your biomechanics, your your built different. So maybe the machine's resistance path is not made for your your body, right? And I didn't realize that. So that's why I didn't really like shoulder pressing. Um, but now, since, since moving to London like 10 weeks ago, since moving back to London 10 weeks ago, I've been doing a lot of shoulder pressing with dumbbells. And I went from 14 kilograms, and you know, that's, that's not a lot to be shoulder pressing one and a half years into gym, especially when, you know, your gym bro is like shoulder pressing like freaking like 26 easy 26 easy so for me i'm gonna be i'm gonna be trying to move up but yeah 14 i went from 14 kilograms to 22 kilograms okay progressive overload basically means just increasing the load so you can achieve the same stimulus um or same growth because stimulus leads to adaptation um but yeah, I went from 14 kilograms to 22. And it shows in the photos, like my my delt here, the front delt. Like, cause before that's the, the, the I would have side delts because I do a lot of ladder raise and a lot of rear delt because I do like direct rear delt and also rowing. And I was thinking, you know, front delt, it gets stimulated enough. I don't need to do any shoulder pressing. But I was wrong. So I had I had a slope. It was just big rear delt, big side delt. But it's a slope. But now, like, it's actually rounding. So if you see it from the side in the right light, it's starting to be look like a, look like a ball, kind of like a little ball, you know, um, which is quite exciting. So low key, it's a blessing in disguise because I still have some newbie gains left on the table for my front delt. Um, like all the other stuff I have been working on ha has received this newbie gains, um, you know. But the front delt specifically has not received this new gains yet. So there's lots of room, lots of room to be growing there, which is exciting AF. Um, so I can finally see my physique in a different different type of mass on it, you know. This year, this year's bulk. Uh, I'm weighing in at 196. My weight's been stagnating this week. Um Maybe because I'm walking too much or my calories need to be bumped up. But anyways. Uh, oh, okay. That's why my training, because I had legs today and I was just not feeling it. Um, I did sleep kind of bad. Like it was a disturbed seven and a half hour sleep. Usually I get about eight, eight solid hours. But today it was seven and a half, like disturbed hours. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling feeling good. Uh, my sleep in London has been horrible. Like I, I sleep so good in Hong Kong. It can be less stress and just just better environment, you know. But I think it's just the stress. But anyway, yeah. Now that I finally linked it, I linked it together. I should actually be eating more calories because my weight's stagnated. And my training has sucked this week. Oh uh, no, my training for legs has has is has been really bad this week. Okay, time to bump up the calories. I'm at 3,500 now, roughly 3,500. Um, if I if it's stagnating at 3,500, then I just bump it up another 200, so 3,700. 3,700 calories. It's a lot, bro. Especially I'm not I'm not. I was doing a lot of walking before. Um, at the start of the start of first term, like 10, 15,000, 20,000 steps, easy. Plus, on top of that, cardio as well. So I'd have to eat like thirty, like four thousand calories just to gain a little bit of weight. 
But now I'm a slightly less active, so I'm eating 3,500, um, gaining 3,500. Well, now 3,700. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. But yeah, I just linked that. Um, but basically, yeah, just a little, a little, little update, a little gym update. Um, I don't know. I'm weighing in 196. I'm trying to hit 210 pounds, roughly 225, maybe. Um, I just like nice round numbers. So if it's in kilos, then it's 100 kilos, which is 220 pounds, roughly. But yeah, 100 kilos, which I should hit in the next, by March 17th, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have this little app called Happy Scale. It does all these calculations. It does, it does smoothing and like takes in count seven day moving averages and blah, 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 all that. So on the current rate that I'm gaining, which is like around 0.5 pounds a week, a month, 0.5 pounds a month, 0.5 pounds a week, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hit my goal weight range goal weight range at like um, the video the video actually cut out okay i'm gonna be hitting my goal weight range at like march 17 if i'm gaining 0 0.5 pounds a week that's quite good um i don't think i've gained that much fat like of course i've gained fat let's be honest right because i went from 176 pounds to 196 pounds it was 20 pounds in the last well actually i'll on this bulk specifically, this I've been bulking for maybe three months. Three months, three months. Three months is 12 weeks. I've been bulking just under, just under 12 weeks, like 10, 11 weeks. I've gained about 11 pounds, so one pound a week actually. <laughs> so not 0 0.5. Uh, yeah, so I've definitely gained some fat, let's be honest. Um, but I've also definitely gained some muscle, so yeah. I hit a little, I feel strong. I feel strong as well. If I sleep good and eat good, I feel strong the next day. Like, so it's important actually that your previous day's food, the day prior actually fuels your, the, 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 the upcoming day. So it's important to eat good. It's important to eat good. Cause I hit, I hit 180 kilo deadlift for easy six, easy six four plates my boy i was hitting four plates for one before as a pr now i'm hitting it for for reps and sets bro that's nuts that's not if i feel good if i feel good then maybe i'll train maybe i'll hit some, I'll hit some deadlifts uh, i'm leaving this saturday the 17th of december so that'll be i might miss deadlifts maybe uh, maybe, maybe I'll train twice on, on Friday then and just mix together. But yeah, I'm finally going back to Hong Kong. Excited. Excited. First thing I want to do is go back and hike. That's all I want to do because in London, you don't get to hike. It's no hike. Um, it's just buildings and parks and just people who want to party. Which is not what I want to do. I just want to gym. I wanna go meet people, you know, like-minded people. And, you know, I wanna go outside, hike, be in the nature. Call me weird, but you know, I'm human. And, you know, by nature, I, I should like nature, you know, no one's, no one's meant to be inside. So box, we call a, a living space, you know, you should be outside active. And that's what I like. You know, maybe I'm scared of bugs, but like, I just like being outside. Like, tell me, tell me, tell me no, like, tell me you hike and you get to the top and you don't feel this like sense of like, sense of accomplishment, sense of existential thought. Like, you just feel great. So I'm planning to go with maybe a friend to go hiking, but like early morning, right before sunrise and just get a coffee. Like I have a coffee prepared. Um, in like a flask, not flask, like a thermos, and just like drink a nice, nice, I'm not sure what the temperature, maybe, maybe warm or cold, depending on the weather, I'll do the opposite, but usually I drink a nice, what do I drink? 
I started drinking coffee recently as well. Uh, I drink a nice warm, no, hot coffee with some milk so it becomes warm. But yeah, that's what I want to do. I just want to like go up, go up there, have some existential thoughts, think about life, drink a nice coffee with a, a good friend and then just like, just chill. You don't get that in London, okay? I, I don't know how I got this topic from, from shoulder pressing, but that's life. Okay, that's life. Stuff just, <laughs> stuff just happened. Sorry, I'm looking. I should be looking here, but I'm looking here, which is where my face is on the phone. Um, here, I should be looking at you. Yeah. But yeah, that's been it. That's me checking out. Um, face has gained a little bit of weight as well. But we move. Um, yeah, that's this update of my life. I want to talk about personal stuff, but that should not be for a public forum. To be honest, I should be talking about that to someone close to me, not on a public forum. But yeah, this is it. That's the way. It's my mom's birthday yesterday, or today, actually. Um, no, yesterday. And then, no, it's Uncle Mac's birthday today. Yeah, 42. All right, I'll see you guys in the next gym update life video.